Hello and thank you for watching my video. Today we're going to be looking at another way you can make gold in 2016 in Guild Wars 2. And this is actually a video I made a few weeks ago back when I had a substantial amount of karma. You can see I have 1.7 million. This dropped significantly after the Winter's Day. I spent all of it pretty much. Uh, but now Winter's Day is over, let's look at how we can make gold again with, you know, using karma. Now before it was actually used to, you know, if you wanted to make gold you would buy a lot of silk gloves from the karma trader I just highlighted and put them in Mystic Forge, salvage the result, you'd get linen, cotton. I, my video actually on how you can make gold using karma is up there. So what can we do now with karma apart from, you know, save it up and maybe use it at Winter's Day? Well, there is a new mastery track uh, that came in, well there was a mastery track that came in, they're all new, uh, but the pack commander. And the one in particular I'm going to be showing you is the supply line management. And the supply line management, the third one there, it allows you to interact with packed supply network agents. They travel across Tyria and you can purchase one item from each agent per day in exchange for karma. So this is, they, they change what they're selling every day, apart from uh, one particular item. And so here we are, we have this packed agent, you can see it says uh, packed supply agent under the green bar at the top of his head. Uh, and you see we've got these three items. Now, you've got the Celestial Pearl needle, Needler, but we don't really want that. You've got a torn page from a surviving uh, survival handbook, so it's a rare uh, crafting recipe. That's not really of interest to us. But then we get the second one. The second one is packed scouts mapping materials. Now this is something that came in with Heart of Thorns uh, and that changed the way in which you could actually acquire materials, resources, uh, those rare items that you ne desperately need. And this was always the case that for certain items, they were always going to be hard to find. Now I've got a few already in, in my inventory because I wanted to show you why. Uh, but the, the wiki actually states, uh, it comes up with a great explanation. These are some of the recipes that you can get, uh, how much they're actually worth on the trading post. So sometimes it's actually really efficient to actually buy, for example, the Bow of Melandru. Instead of 1.7 gold, you can buy for 25,000 karma. It also has the locations every day, and they have a useful little link that you can also paste in chat. You just copy it from the wiki, put it into your say chat, and then you can just get waypoints straight there. Obviously useful if you've got a player with 100% map completion. But this does mean that you will be spending a substantial amount of karma each day. But again, generally most people have the karma. It doesn't take too much to get all this karma back. Uh, so how are we able to make gold from this? Well, this is where, again, I want to bring back the map rewards. Now, what he actually says, double click to consume, grants map bonus reward points for your current map when in central Tyria. So obviously, this doesn't count towards any in the major, major falls. But if we see here, the map bonuses are now highlighted underneath the map. For example, Kershaw, we have the next reward, Elaborate Totem, um, Malkor's Leap, they've got Vials of es uh, Essence, Incandescent Dust, they've got an Armored Scale. And this is why this is so much valuable. Look at Frost Gorge Sound, we've got Vials of Powerful Blood, uh, we've got the ability to get a Giant Eye, we've got Charged Lodestones and Charged Cores, and these are a substantial amount of money still. Obviously they're not as much, like Charged Lodestones for example have dropped by around about a gold since Heart of Thorns came out because they're a lot easier to get. But come to this map here, uh, and you'll see here we've actually got four. So double clicking we actually get a Vial of Powerful Blood. There we go. So that was actually, you can see there, the Vial of Powerful Blood is listed, and that's what you get. Now these change, uh, I believe, either daily or weekly, uh, so you want to be care want to be aware of what you're actually going for, because again, if there are certain materials you want to get, this is fantastic. You can save all these Karma actual items up for a day when you actually have a lot of good items uh, available. So we've got three Vials of Powerful Blood and a Charged Lodestone for a substantially reduced amount of Karma, and this is, for me, the best way you can actually convert uh, gold into, or sorry, karma into gold. And again, if you look how much this is back uh, a few, well, got about two, three weeks ago now, so the prices may have changed by then. But this is a really fundamental way to actually earn the resources that you might actually need if you're going for a legendary. And visiting these six pack traders every day doesn't take too long. It takes five minutes uh, and you can save them up. 
and then you can open them all when they're on a particular when your map is on a particular day on you know your, the rotation that you want um you know if we look at some of the other places that we've got blood tide coast you know if you wanted to go there uh, this is actually where one of the vendors is uh, they may have certain resources, you know, certain items that are actually worth a lot of, of uh, you know, a substantial amount of gold uh, and you want to get it, but it's very difficult, for example, in the drop rate. And so this is where these items actually come in use very much indeed. So again, it's just another way you can make a quick amount of gold. It's not taking too much of your time out of the day. You just go around uh, this again. This was what used to be the, the way you could actually make karma. Uh, you'd visit this merchant here, uh, the Hark Mender, and you would buy, you'd spend amount of karma, you know, it was, it was pretty cheap, but it would take you a long time to get all, you know, to craft all of this, uh, or to actually buy all of this, and you would then have to put it in the Mystic Forge, and then you'd have to salvage it. It was a very intensive case, you know, it was only with our 266 karma, uh, and what we're talking about is a few more thousand, but this way is substantially better. It's quicker, it's more efficient, and although, you know, you might say on a marginal level, the cloth gra uh, crab grabbing gloves may actually provide a slightly better p uh, return for investment, but it would take a lot of cr uh, crabbing gloves to do that. Because uh, linen actually uh, dropped, uh, before, obviously, because of the winter's day uh, and the availability of linen. And so now it became a lot less, uh, you know, a lot less efficient to do this particular route of actually spending karma. And so doing the way using the pack supply merchant is actually much more beneficial and much more efficient. So there we go guys, just a little tip for you there. Again, you can go to the wiki and uh, you can actually check out where these six locations are every day. Just copy it and paste it into SayChat, click on the link, boom, you're there, spend your karma and uh, you can either save them and then spend them on a, uh, when you want a particular day that actually you have some good map rewards in like Kershaw, Malcor's Leap, Frost Gorge Sound, or you can uh, just spend them straight away. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Please leave any comments if you have any disagreements about you know particular worth. Uh, you can see me, I was just trying to do a quick calculation on this. Obviously, this isn't uh, too relevant because of the price change now of linen, uh, but please leave any comments in the section below and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.